2019 probability first question on paper two a class consists of 12 boys and eight girls 12 boys eight girls give us a total of 20. two students are selected at random from the class what is the probability that the two students selected will be a boy and a girl in any order so it can either be a boy followed by a girl or a girl followed by a boy so we'd have to add these two probabilities so the probability of a boy is 12 over 20 followed by a girl there's eight girls and there's 19 students left we'd have to add a girl first which would be 8 over 20 by the probability of a boy which would be 12 over 19 and you can see here it's just we have the same numerators and denominators so we have 8 12s or 96 over 20 19s is 380 so we have two 96s over 380 which is 192 over 380 which is 96 over 190 which is 48 over 95 i don't think it goes down any further than that you could write it as a decimal as well we're not asked either or so the fraction is fine second part four students are selected one at a time at random what is the probability that the first three so it's a specific thing happening here the first three will be boys and the fourth will be a girl boy 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 girl okay there was 12 boys out of 20 which would leave 11 boys out of 19 which would leave 10 boys out of 18 and there were eight girls and there would be 17 left in the class so this is quite a specific thing a boy 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 followed by a girl we've got four numbers we just need to multiply them so those four things multiply together give me 88 over 969 which is 0 0.0908 so 0 0.091 we could round to three decimals we're not asked for fractions or decimals, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, the last part is the last part of this question. Examination paper, two sections. Section A has seven questions. Section B has eight questions. So A has seven. And B has eight. Jot down what you're given. The paper contains the following instruction. From section A, you must answer one and any three others. One plus three others section b you can do any four you must answer any four so any four from eight how many different combinations a combination question must be answered if a candidate follows this instruction so one plus three others so one and any three others so that's one multiplied by three from six for a yeah, that's equal to 6 by 5 by 4 so the 6 and the 3 2 1 in the bottom cancel so that's equal to 20. there's 20 options there and any 4 from 8 is 8 choose 4. use your calculator put 8 7 6 5 over 4 3 2 1. the 4 and the 2 make the 8 disappear and the 3 turns the 6 into a 2 so you're left with 7 by 5 35 by 2 which is 70 and 20 times 70 is 1000 400 which is the amount of different combinations of questions that can be answered